Oh, I guess. I think I finally uh, found the correct uh, uh, placement of the everything. And Stratus Stratus is now uh, telling me that everything works. So after many hours of of trying this offline, uh, I think I finally come up with a solution. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. I'm Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Sure. Then I fire her up and we see what happens. Alright. So I was cold feet. I don't blame you. No, I don't have any cold feet. So pretty warm now, I would say. Getting warmer. <laughs> yes. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Nice. Uh, so. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's, uh, just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the Institute signal. Tracking RF. And... Got it. Hold on to your butt. Yeah, it worked. It worked, guys. I'm now at at the institute. Great stuff. Yeah, that was awesome. She really was. Cool. Yes, completed. Great. It works, guys. It works. Scan is now completed, guys. Oh, this is great. Good done. I will. 
we are now at the institute guys and I think we are about half I can only imagine what you've heard what you think of us uh, through the game guys I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression welcome to the institute this is the reality of the institute this place these people the work we do for over a hundred years we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival decades of research countless experiments and trials a shared vision of how science can help shape the future it has never been easy and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground someday perhaps we can show them what we've accomplished but for now we must remain underground there's too much at stake here to risk it all as you've seen things above are unstable I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. I'm Sean. I'm not. Sean. Is that really you? Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Yes. It's me. Your dad, I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. <laughs> Father! Father, help me! There's someone <laughs> here. Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. <laughs> father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. <laughs> we're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme oh, emotional child, uh, stimuli. Just Please try to keep an open <laughs> I recognize well, that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. 
You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarding. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. It's really you? After all this time? Yes. It's true. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. It wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. To you, that would certainly seem true. But to the Institute, it made all the sense in the world. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human. DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Uh, Whatever you've seen or heard, sure, no. I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to the Institute. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has to just give. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. Uh -huh. It wasn't. 
You knew the man was a 